Ambassador. Ambassador. Is is this one binding? Binding resolution. The resolution is binding. Is binding. It's binding. Do you think so why you why do you think that sense? this one will be respected compared to the well, other one? Well, look. Let, let me just say first off that this was a powerful message the Security Council sent to the people of the region. So uh, this resolution gives peace a chance, and so now Hamas needs to fully accept it, not play around with it language. Did accept it, it, uh, it did. It has not, as far as we know, they have not communicated that officially to Gutter. And we want to see that happen. And that's every day that goes by without Hamas agreeing to this. Uh, this re this proposal means more death, destruction, and despair for the region. So Hamas needs to sign on to it and do so now. But it's 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 so it's Israel has accepted this agreement. That has been clear. Uh, so it's now it's Hamas's turn. Hamas needs to accept this deal. That's not what the Israeli representative said in the council just now. As I, I said earlier today, Israel has accepted uh, this agreement. Hamas, up until now, has not. We want to see Hamas accept um, this agreement because uh, it is a great opportunity to bring peace to the region. Ambassador, what will happen if there's... Let me, let me have someone else. Yeah, when you say they accepted it, did they accept it in writing to the White House or something? Because publicly, we're, I'm sorry, we're not hearing those as, statements as we, a lot. As I said earlier, this basically, this agreement was something that Israel had put forward. So Israel supports this agreement. Let's be very clear about it. We have not heard anything from Hamas. We're waiting to hear something officially from Hamas. But the first step I, I, is coming from Hamas. Hamas the, the next step needs to... Implementation is the responsibility of both sides. But Hamas needs to first accept this agreement and then like they Israel, begin the implementation. They issued an official statement, sir. They accepted completely. I, I, we have not. That has not been communicated it's to the mediators. So Ambassador, we, we need to see my that. question is, uh, what next? I mean, there is mediators. Uh, you, the Qataris, the uh, Egyptians. So, which steps uh, are we need to be taking now? Let's say Hamas will announce that they agree with the resolution or the agreement. Well, they first have to accept it. Okay. And but once that happens, then of course uh, the mediators, the parties, we're all going to be working together to you know, go forward with implementation through the various phases. Can we expect a ceasefire and the uh, immediate ceasefire in the next today, tomorrow? Up to Hamas. Have the mediators Absolutely. set a deadline for Hamas to accept or reject the deal? Is as far as I know, no deadline? deadlines, but actually the deadline is they need to do this now because I, the people of the region need this agreement. Ambassador, you, you said, but that, sorry, you, you said that Israel accepted, but I think the questions why people are doubting that because we didn't hear any official statement from Israeli officials saying that they accepted. Even today, the Israeli representative at the Security Council, she didn't welcome the, the, the resolution, she didn't uh, talk about it, and she didn't say that they accepted. So this is why these questions and people want to make sure where do you where do you have this confidence about Israel accepting the agreement? We are, we are confident that Israel has accepted this agreement. Let me just put it mm -hmm. plain and simple. Ambassador, but the first question I gave is uh, binding. Okay, the public out there thinks that anything the UN pass, it's nothing. No, it's not happening. So what what it makes this? Why what it makes you confident that this will actually? Uh, make a difference. Why I think it will make a difference is because the people of the region are desperate for some kind of a halt to this fighting and so that they can move on to their lives. We can move on to a two-state solution, at least begin the path, the journey toward that two-state solution. So we all have a responsibility to try to move this process forward. And again, as I said, that process begins with Hamas accepting this agreement. And then we go forward to work on implementation. So that's what we plan to do. So today was, look, uh, today that message from the council was give peace a chance, and we want to do that. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.